Hi, Zeus here. Today I beat global number three and it has a grappler. So global number three just populated on my map and uh, this is a Chinese player as a t member of uh, China Team L. Let's uh, scout it out. So he's got a, a grappler that's got 88,000 health. Well, that, that cannot be barred out with the statue lineup that I've got. Uh, the, uh, the, doom, the, the boom cannons have uh, 51,000 health. The cannons have 41,000 health. So he's got kind of a strange... Um, so the laser's not out of range, and the grappler is out of range until you get to that point. So he's got kind of a strange... Um, thing in the front of the eye near the landing and I'm going to take advantage of that by throwing down a box of critters and the critters are going to distract the boom cannons right in the front of the um, his base for quite a bit and the current tribe uh, cycle has uh, critters plus 50 percent so when I throw a critter box down it's quite a few so I'm going to throw down some more critters because now my um, Scorchers are going to get in range of the grappler. So I'm going to throw down some smoke in case the grappler grabs one of my scorchers. Now I've lost the scorcher, so I'm throwing in Kavan and I'm hitting uh, second wind twice. So the grappler's grab a whole bunch of scorchers. I've got the smoke down. And the plan is to get enough scorchers back there and some other troops too that when the smoke clears, they can actually take out the grappler and they're also going to distract that one boom cannon, two boom cannons rather, that are right next to the HQ. So I just have to uh, suppress the, the rocket launcher, uh, one of the uh, shock launchers, which are focusing on the stuff around the grappler, and that boom cannon on the right. And if I can take that down, which I just did, I'm in really good shape now. I still have to take down the, um, the rocket launcher and one additional shock launcher there. Now, at this point, it's pretty well beaten. I want to get rid of that one uh, shock launcher and the rocket launcher, and then I'm going to flare my troops back to the front so that I don't lose any more. So the shock launcher goes down. Now we're going to pull our troops back, and this base is beaten. And look at that. Uh, didn't even lose all my scorchers, which is really uh, great. The current tribe cycle is really tough on uh, offense, and gold is scarce across the entire uh, group of top players uh, on the main base leaderboard. And I only got 102,000 gold off this guy, and it's going to cost me quite a bit. In fact, uh, all the rest of my gold plus some to reload my troops, but it could have been a lot worse. You know, attacking an 8 8 base like this uh, could be 800,000 gold. In, in cost typically when it has a grappler. So I'm going to reinforce the, uh, the troops I can and I'm going to see what my options are for, what, uh, for what's left over. You know, gold management is one of, the, one of the key things of continuing a leaderboard push and I've been pretty lucky uh, the way I've managed to, to run things. You know, you hold your uh, some short about 60,000 gold so uh, that's not enough in the resin. So I'm going to look at my boats now. So you hold your boats until you really need them. Oh, I got lucky. The daily reward has a million one of gold. So I'm going to uh, use that and then uh, reinforce my last troop. I've also still got my operation reward. I'm a member of uh, Red Hot Legends, and there's 3,396,000 gold there, which is a good thing. And, um, and then lastly, I've also got the, uh, the resource boat. All right, well, listen, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, um, please give us a like. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, please. And thanks, as always, to Hercules for help with the video editing.